Grab the icing, make a that video right. real quick. Y'all remember Cinnamilks from McDonald's. I oh, already see that in the thumbnail. This shit used to be valid after the snack wrap, the Chipotle crispy snack wraps put you on. Yes, I'm back. I graduated. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't hard at all. I'm not gonna hold y'all for longer. Quick video for today. So just to get me back in the uh, you know what I'm saying, in the flow. Next video is gonna be fire, right? So, cinnamons. First, what you gotta do, wash your hands, you dirty n Grab your dry uh, ingredients. Two cups of flour, quarter cup of granulated sugar, three teaspoons of salt. <coughs> not three teaspoons of kosher salt. Don't listen to me. One third of a teaspoon of kosher salt. It's two and a half tablespoons of butter. Softened butter, right? Make sure it's soft. Lift your hands in that bowl. Crumble up the softened butter within the flour. Mix everything together, feel me? Until you wanna get little crumbs with the flour for our wet ingredients, right? In a pot. Warm up a half a cup of milk. Once you get that to 98, put it aside and add a half a packet of yeast. A packet is seven grams, so do the math. Three and a half grams of yeast, feel me? Let, those, let the yeast make sure it's sit within the milk for a little bit, like seven, eight minutes. Then make a little well within the bowl. Pour the milk, toss in the flour, keep on doing that until the milk is gone, right? Finish the dough a little bit, add one egg and one egg yolk. Finish the dough off and you should have, it should be a little sticky dough. If it's too sticky, like it's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's stuck to your fingers, but it's not like, look on the camera. This is what I'm trying to say, right? And then we're gonna transfer it to another bowl. Make sure it's greased. We're gonna let it proof in there at room temp. Feel me? Plastic graph on top. We're gonna let the dough proof for about an hour, an hour and a half. Just make sure it's double in size, right? In the meantime, it's proof we're gonna make our filling. So, pour a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little pinch of nutmeg, and that's it. Mix it together, put the, put the filling aside. Once your dough is proofed out, take out the plastic wrap, flatten it a little bit. Just not with a whirling pin, just flatten it with your hands on a flour, like sprinkle. See, I think it's just rusty, I can't go crazy. Sprinkle flour on the tabletop before you even place the dough. Put dough on top, flatten it out with your fingertips. Make it a nice little rectangle, just make sure it's like even, a little even flat filling. Grab, grab more salt and butter, right? We didn't use the whole stick of salt and butter, so you still, still have salt left. Just pinch it, or we'll pinch it. Cut it a little bit off, spread it on the dough. Then sprinkle your brown sugar on it. Do a tri-fold, which is basically folding in a book. So one, uh, one half meets the middle and the other half meets the middle, right? And then you fold it completely lengthwise. I rolled it out from there. I did it again and formed it into a ball. I cut that ball in half, put it in two small pine containers. Then what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna let it proof again for about 30 minutes to an hour. Double the size too, right? We don't want tough dough to be cooked because that makes it, yeah, it makes the dough tough. I mean, you just worked it, you don't want it tough, you need it to be relaxed. Look, you see diamond? You see diamond over there? Relax. So 30 minutes into an hour for proofing, feel me? After the second stage of proofing, we're gonna cut our dough. Yeah, try to get a sharp knife, feel me? I advise you to get a serrated knife because it cuts the dough better. What you gonna do now? Do your incisions. Make little cubes with a serrated knife, right? Um, don't cut it fully. Leave a little attach on the bottom because this gives the pull apart feature like it does in the comments, right? Oven, 375 degrees. Put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, right? While it's in the oven cooking, we're gonna make our icing. Simple enough, milk, powdered sugar, a little a little like pinch, a little droplet of vanilla extract, like just enough that I won't even change the color, the little white uh, ice color. Once you mix the icing together, sprinkle a dash of cinnamon on top. Do not mix it, this is supposed to be the garnish, right? So your cinnamon rolls or your cinnamon milks is out the oven. Let it rest for about, you know what I'm saying? Two to three minutes, five minutes type. Of. Just let that jar rest, it's gonna taste better. Once it rests, Grab your icing, make a porn video real quick. That's a mood, no, let me stop it. And there you have it, Cinemelts. You see it, look at the pull apart. Look at the presentation. Look at the little ass plate, the cute ass plate. Them shits is looking good, you know what I mean? You see it, McDonald's Cinemelts. McDonald's, bring this back. Mm. 
Go!